back in caveman times, everyone was broke. And because everyone was broke, they had to work together to survive. So they shared everything, and had no need of government or taxes or bosses or landlords or any of that bullshit. And this worked fine, until some people realized, that you can bank your enemies, and take their wolf coin. Which is what dogecoin was called before dogs were invented. So that's how wealth and inequality were first created. Enter Marx. No, not that one. Not that one either. Yeah, that one. Marx was a normal loser who lived in his mom's basement, just like you and me, until one day he decided to go outside and touch grass for once. He saw a poor man with an enchanted netherite pickaxe and asked him where he got it. The man said that he had borrowed the pickaxe from his neighbor in exchange for half of the diamonds he mines with it. Marx reflected on how unfair it was that the man's neighbor got half of the diamonds without working. Just because the man wasn't rich enough to afford his own enchanted netherite pickaxe. So Marx wrote a book called Das Kapital, which I think is German for capitalism bad. In this book, Marx proposed a hypothetical economic system called communism, where inequality is solved by making everyone equally broke like in caveman times. I say hypothetical because it has never been achieved in practice. You see, to make sure everyone stays broke, you have to put someone in charge of making sure everyone stays broke. And the person in charge always accidentally forgets to make themselves broke instead of murdering millions of people. 